My thoughts exactly. Who are you? I was known as Olav Kyr. Priestess. Olav Kyr is dead. So I am. As I would have my people continue to believe. What brings you to my land? There is no House of Night in Scandinavia. And you wish to establish one here? Our goddess wishes it. The churches here still believe vampires to be minions of Satan. Yet there are many fledglings in this land with nowhere to learn how to become what they must become. I keep them safe. How? Who is she? Have the humans found us? No need to fear. She is the same as us. This is how you keep them safe? By hiding them away like animals? Would you rather they be hunted like animals? Because that's exactly what the humans will do to them. And that is thanks to you, King Olaf. What does she mean, Olaf? I was marked a year before I was to become king. So, I hid the truth away by never removing my helmet in public. During my reign, I worked long and hard to establish peace between the pagans and Christians. The Christian bishops would agree to that peace if the blood drinkers were expelled from Norway. I chased them out myself before the church soldiers could burn them alive, or worse. After years of guilt, King Olaf finally died of a grave illness. And I set off to protect the scattered fledglings. I never meant for things to end up so... You had a heavy burden to bear, and we all wish we could change the past. But it's in the here and now that you have a chance to make things right. Do you not trust your goddess, Nick? It's humans I don't trust. If I allow you to expose those fledglings, it will be at the expense of their lives. But you can expose yourself. These people still cherish their memory of you. You could expose- You are a high priestess and therefore my superior, but I will stop you if you- I will establish a safe haven for these fledglings, with or without you. Then I would request that you speak to Nyx and explain the hazards of this madness. Earth. My element, I summon you to stand with me as I beseech my goddess. Nyx, I request the favor of your eternal wisdom. I hear you, daughter, but it is your own wisdom you will need. What is it you would ask of me? Some believe that by trying to help the fledglings here, I may be endangering them. Is this what you believe? No, but I need your assistance. Then you shall have it, in the form of my forest children. They will show you your path, if you survive their guidance. Those cats will kill you, sure enough. What are they, these cats? Norsk skog cats, sacred to my people. If these sacred cats accept me, then so too will the people of Bergen. And if they fight you alive? You mean us? No! <laughs> Earth, I summon thee! You're bleeding. Can't imagine why. Be ashamed to waste. May I taste? Be my guest. Is it a witch? She's a vampire. See the mark? That's far enough. How is it that a Satan-spawned vampire exists in Norway? How'd you get them cats so friendly? Shut your mouth, boy, and get. I don't know what demonic power you have over the sacred skog cats, but- I have no power over them. These cats accepted me. As I am hoping you and your city will. We've had no blood drinkers in this land for over 20 years. Thanks to Olaf Kyr. That so is a mistake I will forever regret, Augmund, old friend. King Olaf! You will leave this land, demon, and return I will hear to what he has to say. Please forgive my deception all these years. I'm ashamed to admit that I doubted my faith in the Norse capacity for acceptance. I hope you will prove that I was wrong.